Welcome back to you. Thank you guys for tuning in the Banner Bros channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the colorblind type settings. And this is not only for people that are colorblind. These settings can actually help you. And I'll show you how to move these settings around to actually get your game in Warzone or in multiplayer, or whatever you guys play, to look a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to be comparing the different options, all the different colorblind settings. And hopefully you guys will like something better than just a normal dull colors. Like after you try the different colorblind settings, believe me, you will feel that the other the normal mode is just a little bit too dull so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you do please like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on it deeply helps me out a lot and as well remember to follow us on instagram banner bros youtube i'll see you all in the video All right, so starting off the colorblind settings for you guys who don't know is basically people that see a color in a different color than you're normally in quotation supposed to look at it. So that's why colorblind settings are there. For example, sometimes people differentiate like the browns and the greens and the reds and the yellows just a little bit different than the normal human being. So that's why they put the colorblind settings. But if you actually tweak this a little bit in conjunction with the brightness, you can actually get the game to look a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more to your taste. Because besides that, you cannot really tweak the contrast and the settings of Call of Duty unless you do it on your screen. So this is basically the only way to make your game a little bit more vibrant. So in the screen right now, I'm going to show you the first one. I'm going to put a bunch of uh, pictures of the same exact location um, of my friend standing in the between two red buses. All right. Originally, they are two red buses. And again, when you aim at an enemy, their name tag is supposed to be uh, red. So uh, we got the first one right here. And as you guys can see, that's the normal everyday one. Then we're going to change to the first colorblind type which is the protanopia as you guys can see this one does change quite a bit it changes more into all the reds become like an orangey yellow it also depends on what device you're looking at you know you might be like what the hell is this guy talking about it's supposed to be yellow again it depends on what device you're looking at it and what screen you're looking at it but it turns it into a little bit more yellowish uh orange type the blues stay the same the whites stay the same it's just those specific colors that change a little bit and as you guys can see the name tag the uh the enemy tag also changes quite a bit uh now let's go into the second one which is the delta delta ranopia i don't know how to pronounce it delta ranopia which is the third one this is the one personally that i use i like this one um if you guys can see this one actually it, it seems like it makes the colors a little bit more vibrant. Like when you play Warzone and the enemy shooting or you tag somebody, all those reds, all those pings will just seem a little bit more vibrant. Like the reds just jump out a little bit more. Um, as you guys can see as well here, the name tag also does change the enemy tag. It changes into a yellow, which I actually kind of like quite a bit. Uh, it does help. For me, it's a little bit easier to see that yellow one than the red one. So specifically in multiplayer, it helps me out a lot. So my default for choice is going to be this one now let's jump into the last one which is the tritonopia and this one makes the colors just a little bit more dull so kind of like the original one uh it makes the reds a little bit lighter so not as dark and the name again as you guys can see is just a little bit lighter as well and in terms of the blacks and the and the and the again the blacks the whites all those colors do not really change but again i'm gonna go to the second thing that you guys need to do as well just so you guys know how to change this is um once you go into the option uh, into the options go into this one right here and this is going to be in general once you're in general it's going to be all the way to the bottom and it's going to say colorblind type with this one this is how you're going to see uh you got all the different kinds of settings uh, something that you need to change as well is once you select your desired colorblind settings, um, you're going to have to put, it's going to be in this one, but for the colorblind target, put both, which is going to give you in the interface and in the world. So just something to look out for. So always put both. If not, nothing is going to change. Now, something that you also need to change a little bit is with the brightness. When I actually had the no colorblind settings, my brightness was actually a little bit lower because I felt that when I was aiming outside with the scope, it was just like really, really bright. And sometimes I have to move my brightness. So I actually have to put a little bit down. 
But with this new one, with the uh, with the second colorblind mode, I actually keep my brightness at 50. So something that, again, to play with the colors is change your colorblind and play with the brightness. That will definitely help you out quite a bit. Again, I believe with the second one, I just love specifically in Warzone, again, when people ping or when people are shooting in the mini map, the reds just seem a lot more brighter and they're a lot easier for me to spot while I'm looking at my map. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are colorblind. First of all, let me know down below in the comments if you guys are. And let me know which one suits you the best. Which one do you use? Thank you everybody for tuning in. I deeply appreciate it. Peace out, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next one.